Greetings. In the second lecture of our tutorial for making a mobile Godot game, we will continue with this 2D video game project. First, I would like to show you how to easily change orientation. Uh, we will uh, use uh, one method uh, I recommend. Okay. Uh, first thing, you are going to project settings and just change the width and height. For example, this will be something like this. Like this. And when you change it, just uh, close it and you will get new window. Because we use boundaries in a static body, uh, you can easily uh, change this also. So put it somewhere here and uh, change other boundaries accordingly. So select it, move mode, and then put it in a position. Selection, move mode, in a position. Now you solve the boundaries. Uh, background rectangular can be solved very easily, so just change it here. It's important to do everything in prototyping. Don't uh, wait to change um, something like a video game orientation when your uh, game are going to the other stages after the, the, the prototyping. So that, do everything in prototyping. And the character can be put it here, and this is all. In a uh, in a, under the minute, you can you can do it. Let's see how our our game is looking right now. We have something very interesting, as you see here. Now we will learn something good for our character. This uh, will be talking about animated sprite, and I will show you how to use this node. So select the root node and add animated sprite. You can start by writing anim. So animated sprite need to be node for a 2D uh, light uh, blue color. You know everything. Create. Now we have this uh, node in our uh, game scene. I will put it somewhere in a central position. For the explanation of this animated sprite, uh, we need uh, uh, one specially designed image. And now I will show you why. So open documentation. Sprite node that contains multiple 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 textures as frames to play for animation so multiple textures uh, this is what uh, you need to use this animated sprite i have uh, something uh, created and uh, you will have, have options to download this file just go to description or find uh, some uh, similar uh, similar image online so let me show you how this look like this is this image so uh, image contain a group of um, of a sprites so this is group of a sprite we have 10 sprites uh, with a different uh, pose for a 2d video game character what can we do uh, we can use our animated sprite to create something with this. So select animated sprite node, go to animation. It's the first pro property in the animated sprite 2D. Go to sprite frame and create a new sprite frames. When you have new sprite frames, click once in this sprite frames to open animation window or you can just click 
uh, and trying to find animation window here. If you don't have um, in the animation, try sprite frames. And uh, we have something here in the sprite frames. So this is it, animated sprite. And then click here, you will get uh, sprite frames. OK, now uh, we have uh, some default animation here. But for this animation, we need to add something. We will add, um, uh, we will use this micro button, add frames from sprite sheet. Add frames from sprite sheet. Click once and select uh, our default image open. You will get uh, some dialog window like this, so select the frames. You will need to define how many frames you have horizontally. So if you have uh, horizontally four frames uh, and five is selected, your frames will not be good uh, in a good setting. So you need to see how many frames you have horizontally. And then to see how many frames you have vertically, you have three, one, two, three. So three, four to three. Then you can select frames you like. For example, we will select all frames. So frame one, two, three, four, five, six. I think the order of selection is also important. So select it properly. So we selected uh, nine frames here, nine frames, one, two. Uh, so our selection is not uh, so great. If you try to select it like this, uh, you can make some changes, but uh, this is, uh, this is, so we'll go to cancel. And then again, open. So no frame selected, horizontal, vertical selected. OK, now you need to properly select what you need. For example, this can be one, two, etc. Four, five. Now we have 10 frames. I want to show you how this uh, animation look with all of frames. You can select whatever you like. Add frames. Now we have animated sprite, little bit big uh, for our uh, resolution. So we will go to transform for the animated sprite and change the scale to something like this, maybe. OK, this is OK. Uh, if you start this, you will see nothing. You will see one, one. Uh, you will see probably one, one frame. So this is one frame. But we want to see how this animation work. Animation means more than one frame. And uh, we need to find option new animation. No, this is deleting possible. How to play on load. This can be good option. So select this auto play on load for automatically uh, playing the animation on load. And let's see what we get. And we get the animation. We can later use this uh, with uh, some GD script coding uh, to use it as a character for our uh, game. OK, good. Uh, now we will try to use this animated sprite. So put it in the character body. Just select it and move it to be uh, one of the sub node for the character body here. We will need to make some changes in size. So go to scale and let's try it with uh, zero one. 
Now you can uh, move it and put it uh, somewhere close to collision shape. We will not need this mesh for now, but collision shape will be useful. Go to collision shape, change it according to 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 the to this sprite. As you see, it's a little bit larger than previously created. Maybe something like this. Maybe like this. But uh, you can you can you can make changes accordingly. So let's try it. Let's try it like this. Okay. Uh, so now we have it. Okay. We can we can try to see what we get. So now we have animation and movement. It's very good. Uh, now without any scripting. So we will make some adaptation here. So, like this, maybe. You will have time to make it uh, right. Now, let's go to the to the character body scripting. Here, in a character body scripting, uh, we have uh, some coding for a movement to the left and right, and uh, we can uh, we can add uh, some interesting part maybe for for this movement and for animation okay i think this is all for this lecture so we learned two good things uh, how to change orientation and how to uh, use some simple option of the animated sprite thank you for watching goodbye